What's good, y'all? It's your boy Coltrane back in the video, and today is going to be Dragon Ball Super episode 105 and 106 review and results and 107 predictions, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel. It is your boy Coltrane back with another banger. And yeah, man, um, I could not do a Dragon Ball Super review last Sunday because I had company over. And you already know I got a treat to my company. You know, you know, people, friends, with friends, and family were over because my sister had her big birthday party last year, last, last Sunday. Luckily, luckily the blues didn't come on, and I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have Snapchats all over. But <laughs> luckily, that did not happen. But yeah, um, let's get into this review. 105 first. I'm gonna spend about first half of the review on 105. And the second half on 106. I'll give you guys my quick thoughts on 106. Nothing else really happened here. Some Universe 2 and 6 guy got eliminated. And we've seen some more characters developing with Piccolo and Gohan. Like who, who, like we've seen a million times already in Dragon Ball Z already. Come on. Nothing really happened in Dragon 106. But 105 was major because it was a Master Roshi episode. It's all about Master Roshi this week as the Tournament of Power continues onwards. As... Onwards. I had reservations going into the episode as Master Roshi's depiction in Dragon Ball Super has been fumbled a few times recently. By the end, those concerns have vanished as Master Roshi ended up being the centerpiece of a phenomenal episode. 105 was great, by the way, guys. That ended with a tear, tear in, in, inducting moment. It was I was alone to see, see episode 105 fall back on Master Roshi's urgence when, when around women. Thankfully, it took a sharp right turn and made it clear that Roshi is able to control these impulses, allowing him to probably confront and beat the female warrior from Universe 4, which was great. I enjoyed that. The evolution for um, Master Roshi has been a long time coming, and it's great to see the super super team putting Roshi's preventative antics behind him. It's about time, because I'm sick of this women, women ploy. Thank you. Dragon Ball Super, y'all did a great job with Master Roshi in this episode. It's time for the women's thing to end. People are getting tired of it. It's time for Master Roshi to move on while his fetish over women. Thank you. Um, I know women are beautiful, but I know, but it's time for him. He needs to start focusing on fighting. It's the, the entire universe is at stake. I know. I have a fair share of ladies myself. <laughs> ladies, man. <laughs> but y'all already know. Y'all already know. I'm dating. I'll, I'll go. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go over that later on as we um as our relationship becomes closer. I am finally dating a female. I'm back in the dating scene, baby. I'm dating my girl. Yeah. Maybe you're watching this. Here. <laughs> yeah. She know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. But we know we this. We're talking about women and dating and stuff. Let's fin let's talk about anime. Um, behind him, there may be a happen a time that they were funny, but his preventative behavior doesn't fit in with Dragon Ball Super's direction. Yeah, it's time for him to move on. Taking out one boy wasn't the worst. The quick changes between. Not one, but two more battles. Both of them show off exactly which Roshi is so strong as a fighter experience. His power level simply does not match the warriors he is facing, but he has studied everyone from a distance and able to expertly dodge and maneuver his way with him with ease. Even Goku couldn't hope to uh, achieve. His experience is further showcased by his more focused attacks. Instead of pre foes with a flurry of bolts like Goku or Vegeta, Master Roshi opts for a single well-placed strike or key attack to secure a victory. After several weeks of bombastic fights, it was great to have to have Roshi step up and, and showcase some true martial arts level of material. Um, I'm sure some more Roshi took out some people and uh, and on torn the rest of his rival. However, I was revealed to see him live um, because um, he had he he had sacrificed himself. He said that he may die because he put. I think he was trying to seal someone again, like he. Like seal someone like he did, uh, like back in Dragon Ball, or something like that. And he, yeah, I, mean, I thought he was dead, but he was alive. And I was like, yes, thank, thankfully, goodness. He, he almost, they almost made me tear up to see Master Roshi die. Like all, like I teared up when Goku died. Died, wink, wink. I almost teared up, but I'm, I, uh, almost teared up, but um, luckily they didn't kill Master Roshi off. Luckily, but uh, he lived, man. And my final verdict for this episode, it was good. It was good for what it was trying to do. Um, show Master Roshi being serious. Show these characters being serious. And I really enjoyed this episode of Dragon Ball Super. 10, 105 was good. Um, I wish I would have reviewed it with you guys yesterday. Because I was like emotional as heck. Like, it would, it would not lie when I seen this live. And luckily my emotions were controlled when I did this review. 
Um, let's get into 106 review. Um, 106, we got to recap what happened last week with Roshi. And um, we this was a Gohan and Piccolo focus episode for the first half of it about these Universe 2 guys, um, Universe 2 and 6 guy. I believe it was Universe 2. Two people um, had, he. this guy could reflect, whenever you do an attack, he he can counter back into you. It was something like, it was something like we seen in the both side of the way, so when, when you, like, like something with Majin Buu or something. Like when you do a beam attack, he, he absorbs it and put, literally puts it back to you guys. I forgot which villain did that in Dragon Ball Z, but it was something like that. But like the dude, and he, he was like a primitive sniper. He, he put, he was shooting at his stomach and bow, 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 bow. And then it had reflected off him and, and, and counterattacked right into him. It was awesome, though. I really enjoyed it, though. Um, this episode was good. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love what they're doing. Go, go hunt and Piccolo. I love the, the Goku and Vegeta teaming up aspect. Getting them getting them guys te- teaming up. Um, I was teaming up like that. Um, but, yeah. That was that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Um yeah, and yeah, that was that was phenomenal. I really enjoyed the aspect of the episode. Long story short, the universe two universe two guys got eliminated and um I forgot to tell y'all about um oh let me get into, I'll get to that later. Um I forgot to tell y'all about Tian. Tian actually got eliminated in this episode. Eliminated, y'all. Um he actually got eliminated because he sacrificed himself to take out the green guy and he like he his three forms of him. I thought I thought TN was gonna eliminate and another guy didn't, but he both of them got eliminated. He sacrificed himself to get eliminated, which was probably one of the best eliminations in um in in this tournament of power so far. That was awesome and brilliant, and and Beerus was impressed, surprisingly. I thought he was gonna rage in that TN for getting eliminated, but he didn't because he actually took out someone when he did. Krillin didn't take out nobody when he got eliminated, so it wasn't it was it wasn't a draw. But Krillin got just got eliminated, taken out, but. But um, did, but um, Tian did, and I really enjoyed that segment. So no more Tian. It's time to move on to the more powerful guys. Cannot wait for next week. They teased a little bit of Roshi dying again, like they did in one hundred and five. But hopefully it doesn't happen because he said Goku said that he might really die this time. But I predict um that Master Roshi will not die in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me, y'all guys. Have you guys have been supporting me one hundred percent on these videos? Thank y'all so much. Um. Um, I got some more more videos coming out about why JBL quit um the um announced team because SmackDown Live commentary team also some up to Asian Nines parts coming out today and a react and some reactions coming out today as well. Thank y'all so much. I'm Cold Train and I'll talk to you guys in the next Dragon Ball Super Review. Woo! Fifty subscribers.